بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہمارے اسٹاف کالج جنرل ندیم انجم فیکلٹی ممبرس ڈسٹنگوش گیسٹ اینڈ فیلو اسٹوڈنٹ السلام علیکم فرسٹ آف آل آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو تھینک دی اسٹاف کالج ٹو لیٹ می اسپیک اینڈ ٹو شیئر مائی ایکسپیرینس آف ہاؤ ٹوریزم ہیز ایفیکٹیڈ می مائی فیملی اینڈ ان فیکٹ ہاؤ وی ہیو فیس اٹ اینڈ آر فیسنگ اٹ رائٹ ناؤ Before I begin, I would like to quote a saying from my father who stated that, if I die, do not waste a shed of your tears. Instead, work for Pakistan, for then I shall know that we have won. I am Siraj Raisani and I will die as a Pakistani. Today, I hope to prove to you why and how we have won against one of the most conflict, uh, complex conflicts in the history of mankind in Pakistan. Let me be clear from the outset. Nothing justifies terrorism. No cause, no grievance. Nothing can ever excuse the indiscriminative targeting of civilians, the wanton destruction of lives and livelihoods, and the creation of panic for its own sake. Terrorism has unfortunately been with us in various forms, ages across, uh, across the ages and continents. But modern terrorism is being waged on an entirely different scale and no country can claim to be immune to it. It has become an unprecedented threat to international peace stability, security, and development. As conflicts have grown in intensity and numbers over the past decade, terrorist attacks have also increased and spread, destroying societies, lives, and even destabilizing entire regions. Terrorism has grown into a pertinent global factor that has affected many countries and states in the world. There are several forms of terrorism, such as ideological, brainwashing terrorism, or direct terrorism, which is direct violence. Yet, each of these focuses on one central issue. The definition of terrorism is the act of employing force and violence to force others to make desired decisions and actions. In the majority of these cases, The issues are political and ideological. Yet, the main philosophy instigated by terrorism is to create an ingrained fear amongst the targeted people. Let me start with a little background history and I will add more accordingly. First of all, I would like to tell why my father and my family decided to stand against terrorism. And what were the circumstances at that time? Before I begin, I would like to mention that for the Baloch people, we are proud of our traditions and never believed in ethnic or lingual differences. Baloch are inheritably very open and accommodated tribes. So this all started back in 2004. when unfortunately the enemies of Pakistan sponsored a proxy war against us here in Balochistan. Terrorists or missionaries as I like to call them who were definitely supported uh, by India and other evil forces started killing our people. Their goal was to create ethnic division in Pakistan and especially in Balochistan. The terrorists on the direction of their masters started targeting killing of our teachers, our children, our women, and also they geared up to secretarian killings and also created fake missing person cases to malgain and blackmail our state. During all this bloodshed, the situation and traditions of the Baloch people were badly damaged and the, some of the so-called Baloch leaders pretending to save the Baloch traditions, the Baloch people, but actually derailed the Baloch. And later on, were the so-called Baloch leaders were offered 
political asylum abroad, uh, abroad. While on the other hand, the people who were following them were left in no position. Gentlemen, this all was a plan and a part of agenda to destabilize our motherland, Pakistan. During this time, I remember the day when my father, Shaheed Nawab Zadamir Siraj Khan Rashtani, who was also son of Shaheed Nawab Wansbush Rashtani, a patriotic captain in the Army of Pakistan, who also contributed with the French archaeologist team to explore the Mirgar civilization. My father stood up against this bloodshed. He called a meeting of tribal leaders as one of the heads of the Rasani tribe. People responded to him very well and gathered on his invitation. He then announced that enough is enough and that he will not allow any more damage to the harmony between the tribes and communities living in Balochistan and in especially anti-Pakistan ideologies. He later formed on his own political party and naming it Balochistan Mutahida Mahaz. Directly translated in English stands for Balochistan United Front. So to spread awareness about the evil desires of the enemies upon the youth of Balochistan. Balochistan Mutazam Mahaz emerged as a hope for the youth of Balochistan who were searching for a platform to raise their voices against terrorism. Youth from different sectors joined hands with my father and started narrative building against terrorism. My father, Shaheed Siraj, started weekly meetings in Sarawan House, where every week the number of youth increased. During his speeches, my father used to say that terrorists are a few people which try to terrorize, terrorize us. Therefore, we have to overcome their fear. We have to stand up for peace, prosperity, and for the sake of people of Balochistan. Let me add a small fact to this, that the terrorists, the population of terrorists are about 0.004% of the real population. Just a small number. His narrative was highly impressive for youth and tribal elder, elders. Later on, the organization finally started marches, rallies against terrorism, and began raising the national flags everywhere on the roads and streets of Balochistan. I recall once attending a weekly, weekly meeting with my father. During the meeting, he said in his historic speech that we decided to stand up for Pakistan and we shall not hesitate to sacrifice for the sovereignty of Pakistan. So I can say that he was the ray of hope in the dark era. His bold decisions and willpower led to patriotism Energi uh, patriot energizing the youth to play their crucial role for Pakistan and especially in case of Balochistan. In result of my father's struggle, youth of Balochistan came out from the fear of terrorism and started working for Pakistan. Due to awareness campaign of my father, people came to know that India is behind the terrorism in Balochistan. So the youth of Balochistan, under the umbrella of Balochistan Mutaida Mahal, started protesting against Indian involvement in Pakistan. The so-called leaders of Balochistan who were using innocent, innocent for their evil desires were in fear that this light will spread throughout Balochistan and they will not be able to detract or brainwash youth against the state. Gentlemen, this was the time Fear of the terrorists amongst the people was at its peak. No Pakistani flags were allowed in Balochistan. I remember when I was a student here in Quetta, in city school Quetta, on 14th August during the Independence Day, during morning assembly, my class was supposed to perform and sing the national anthem. But the presentation was canceled. So I kept asking my teachers, why can we sing the national anthem? And he did not have any answers and walked away. Later on, I mentioned it to my father 
He told me that terrorists have thrown pamphlets to a number of schools in Quetta demanding that the national anthem of Pakistan should not be sung in any school or else there would be terrorist attacks on the schools. He was much concerned about the situation and the Baloch youth was totally brainwashed at that time. Later on, he assured that this would change and the days were not far that everyone in Balochistan would proudly say they are Pakistanis and will sing the national anthem very proudly. Dur during these times, people started to mot demotivate my father and threats were made from the terrorist organizations. Even though people who he believed in let him down by saying that they have no power against these terrorists and the path he took was far too dangerous for them. But my father, he never stepped back from his mission and always said that the brave people of Balochistan are with him and he will carry on his mission. In July 2011, a football final event was organized in Masul. It was related to the Independence Day and many people were invited as chief guests, including the sitting chief minister at that time and other government uh, ministers. But people were refusing to attend because at that time, Mastung was under threat. And the people felt <coughs> that this event was sure to be attacked. My father thought this was the right time to stand up and show these terrorists that he was not afraid and the people of Balochistan are willing to sacrifice their lives for Pakistan. So he accepted this invitation and on 29 July 2011, as chief guest, my father and my brother attended this event. Having an audience of more than 5,000 people, uh, it displayed, it was a strong display by the people of Balochistan that have, they have changed and, not, and are not afraid of the threats. After distributing the trophies while making their way to the vehicle, my father and brother were attacked by the so-called anti-state terrorists. The attack resulted into the martyrdom of my brother. I remember being confused at that time. I was only 12 years old. I had no idea what was going on. I saw my brother leave my father walking on his own two feet. And when he came home, he was being carried inside a coffin. It was a very hard time because I did not know what to do. I looked to my father and asked him what had happened. Why are they killing us? Why are they targeting us? He told me, son, the only reason they are targeting us is because we are raising the slogan of Pakistan and are on the right track. Later on, when my father was talking to the media, seeing his courage and proudness, it gave me strength and things started working for me and I was no longer uh, sad. I, had, I was proud that my brother sacrificed his life for our motherland Pakistan at such a young age. I remember the moment when people were coming to my father to offer their con condolences and to ask him about his views. He stood up and proudly held my hand and said that I have sacrificed Hakmal for Pakistan and I have Jamal. If needed, he will not hold back for the motherland. Ending it with saying if Pakistan needed his sacrifice, he would have no regrets but be proud. <coughs> Gentlemen, when I say this, many of you might think only a reckless father would be willing to endanger the safety of his children. But the truth was that he would have done whatever it took to protect me. He said this to make people sit up and listen, to understand the sacrifices that might need to be made in the future. My father loved Pakistan and would never hold anything back. 
Basically, 2011 marked the year of people's revolution. They were inspired by my father, and this was bad news for the terrorists. They were scared that the revolution was, revolution was resulting into their fear slowly vanishing from the hearts of the people of Balochistan. Later in the coming years, people of Balochistan would have no fear and would celebrate the Independence Day with pride and, pride and high spirits. Even helping my father to back the record of making the largest flag of Pakistan in August, 14 August in 2018. The flag stretched from Mastum to Quetta. It was a very special uh, mission and a historic event which displayed a strong message to all of the world and especially the anti-Pakistan elements that the people of Balochistan are patriotic and love Pakistan with all their heart. Although my father was under lots of threats, but he worked his way by uniting various tribes in Balochistan under one vision. This was a breakthrough in every aspect of environment in Balochistan. Seeing all this, I recalled when my father promised me about the days when everyone will be united to celebrate the Independence Day and be proud of their identity. My father, along with a number of patriotic tribal leaders, civilians, uh, helped the Pak and with the help of Pakistani army and FC Balistan, changed everything. Now the Independence Day is celebrated with enthusiasm all over Balochistan, with over five million flags sold in Quetta alone in August 2018, and it has only a population of 2.2 million. Moving forward, my father would always talk to me and my brother about never forgetting what our identity is. As many of you in the audience are not aware that my mother is from Thailand and I feel lucky to call both Pakistan and Thailand my homes. As a Thai national, my mother has equal love for Pakistan as Thailand. She is the one who actually motivated my father because she always believed in him and he was doing what he was doing was good and for the sake of the people. She would always tell me and my siblings to be like our father, a voice for the weak, the poor, and the needy. After all these successful events, me and my family knew that our father was under constant threat. But we were not scared. He would always say that it is better to die for a good cause. Let, later, without worrying about his life, he decided to take part in the general elections of 2018. As a candidate of PB45 Mustum, he decided to do this for the people of Balochistan. I remember one day, me and my father were on, on a tour to our area walking around to check schools. Some of them had no roofs, no toilets, even no place for the students to sit. But what was more touching to him was seeing small children with no shoes in their feet. At that point, he literally cried because he saw the passion of the people for education even with less fortune. So he decided to be a voice for them and his vision was about education, health, and moral development of Balochistan and Baloch tribes, including Pashtun, to fight against the enemies of Pakistan. In many of his speeches, he stressed upon the need of education for the youth of Balochistan. Whenever he met with government authorities, he would request for schools in Balochistan. I remember once he told me that he had met IGFC Balistan General Nadim Anjum and requested uh, for a school in Mustard. And my father, after that meeting, was really happy that the IGFC had immediately honored his request and FC Balistan is constructing a school in Kanak right now. 
In his eyes, the security forces of Pakistan were the real nationalists who had sympathy and understood the situation and tried to help the people of Balochistan. For him, true nationalists were the ones who worked for the welfare and education for the common people, and not those who believed in slogans of nationalism but were working against Pakistan. This is a, the last interview of my Shaheed father before his martyrdom. I would like you all to see what he said. My father understood the larger design of their anti-Pakistani lobbies and terrorists. Therefore, he mobilized the public and his tribe. He believed in the people, and because of this, he got, people got encouraged. This was also supported by the Pakistani security forces, especially FC Balochistan. My father broke away from petty constituency politics to national survival politics. Hence, he had more enemies amongst anti-Pakistan forces. He knew that the enemies are waiting for him, but this would not stop him from serving his people, his land, and his tribe. He was the only election candidate to have Pakistani flags in his vehicle during his campaign. He always engaged his team in narrative building against terrorism and to build a narrative of prosperity of Balochistan. He knew very well that the evil forces and enemies of Pakistan wanted to create differences between the locals and armed forces of Pakistan. I remember him spending a lot of time to counter this movement of the enemies of Pakistan. As his narrative about the prosperity of Pakistan, I recall in one of his TV interviews he was saying that the enemies of Pakistan are trying to sabotage Pak-China economic corridor. But we, people of Balochistan, will not let them do this because we are welcoming prosperity in our homeland. One more very important thing my father believed in resolving the terrorist issue was that he would always advocate of safeguarding our country from terrorism. <coughs> and for that, he supported the Pak Afghan border fencing initiative. As he believed that the Indian, India and other terrorist forces are using the Afghan soil against Pakistan. And finally, in 2018, the terrorists and anti-Pakistan elements silenced him by sending a suicide bomber who was trained and tasked from Afghanistan by the NDS on the direction of Indian agency RAW. In his election campaign, leaving all Pakistan in mourning. During that time, it was a very hard time for me and my family. We were all in shock. But seeing the people who lost their loved ones, giving us support, gave us strength. And that is the only reason I'm standing here strong and steady. Even the chief of army staff was here to give me and my family support, including the prime minister and high army officials. The support we got from the common people, whether we knew them or not, was an amazing feeling. Seeing them carry my father's cause without him being around was the key for me. One more thing I would like to mention is that on 6th September Defense Day, after the martyrdom of my father, 
FC Balochistan organized an event uh, on his grave to pay him respect and tribute, in which many political leaders and tribal elders were present. But one thing I observed which stood out was the love of the common people. I saw elder, elderly people walking all the way from their houses barefooted to pay their respects to my father. This meant a lot to me and this was very hard to, uh, touching for me. The moment when I saw the people of uh, uh, Balochistan saying no to terrorism and saying Pakistan Zindabad, I knew that we have beaten the terrorists and this was our victory. The terrorists thought that by assassinating my father, they would finish the revolution. But they were not aware that you can kill a person, but you can never kill an idea or a vision. Today, wherever you go in Balochistan, people are not scared. They are proud of their Pakistani army and proud of being Pakistani. And for me, I never felt that my father is not around. I always have this feeling that he is right here, right with me all the time. Because he is the vision which many of us, including me, carry around with us. The anti-state elements thought they would silence my father they would put an end to the message of peace, the message of patriotism in Balochistan. But little they knew about what will happen once Siraj Rasani is martyred. Once my father left this world, things started to change. The love for Pakistan reached to another level. My father always taught me that no matter where you are, and whatever you are doing, never forget that you are a Pakistani. And I think this is why me and my siblings were brought up in such a way that the spirit of patriotism can never be decreased in us. We had the opportunity to live and study in Thailand, but my father wanted us to see the people who we had to serve, the land for which we had to sacrifice. My father made us ready for everything. And back in those days, as a young kid, I used to give myself thoughts that why we are getting a proper Baloch upbringing. Why me and my brother sit with my father in each and every tribal gathering. But as time passed, I came to know that while my father was preparing us for something like this. During these tribal gatherings, or these talks to the general tribesmen, my father always used to ask them to solve their com conflicts, which were basically amongst two or maybe three tribes, and to get united to fight against the anti-state slogans. With the civilians and tribesmen united in fighting against the terrorism in their own region, this not only portrayed a message of patriotism, but also message to the terrorists in Balochistan and across the border that Balochistan and Pakistan have become fearless and courageous to fight against them. People got to see the real faces of these so-called <coughs> nationalists who were giving directions to the terrorist organizations. But this was not happening anymore. People in Balochistan now knew that what was happening to them. And my father also taught me and encouraged them to how to face hypocrites who were destroying our motherland. I would like to add three things in the end because I know I'm addressing the future leadership of Pakistan and in the Pakistani military. Number one. The people of Pakistan and the people of Balochistan are super patriotic and brave. They are now ready to sacrifice each and everything for the solidarity of Pakistan. So please depend on them. Number two, wherever you have to conduct a counter-terrorism operation, 
always keep the locals and the local elders, tribesmen with you because they will never disappoint you as the people of Balochistan have rejected terrorism forever. <coughs> and lastly, as son of Shaheed Siraj Rasani, I'd like to say that a man dies when he, re when he refuses to stand up for which is right. A man dies when he refuses to stand up for justice. A man dies when he refuses to stand, take a stand for that which is true. So do not be afraid when you see something wrong. Condemn it. Have courage and speak for it. Be brave and fearless. Stand up for yourself, for your loved ones, and your country. Thank you so much. Pakistan, Zindabad, Pakistan, Bindabad.